Oh, hi, friends. Hi, mathematicians. I didn't see you. I was just looking around my kitchen at all of the different objects in my kitchen, and I was noticing how there are so many different shapes. My plates are one shape. My table is another shape. This crayon box is a shape. There are so many different shapes. It's so cool. Friends, mathematicians, we are going to start studying shapes. So exciting. I want to show you this picture. This picture right here is a picture of a bunch of different shapes. Now you may know some of the names of these shapes, and you might not, you might not know, you might know some of them, you might not know all of them. And you also might be looking around your room right now like I am and noticing these shapes in your house. Take a look around your room. Do you see anything in your house that's this shape? Or this shape? Or this shape? Or this shape? This shape or this shape? Now I want you to take a minute and ask yourself, do you know the names of any of these shapes? Hmm. We're gonna be learning a lot about these different shapes. Miss Button's gonna say the names of the shapes, but don't worry if you can't remember them all today. We're gonna keep talking about them. Take a look at this shape right here. How many sides do you see on this shape? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four sides to this shape. This shape is called a square. Take a look at this shape. This is a circle. This shape right here is a triangle. This shape right here is a rectangle. This shape right here is an oval. And this shape right here so rhombus. We're going to be spending the next couple weeks really learning and exploring and observing these shapes. But today we have a very exciting activity to do where we just get to play with these shapes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to choose one of these shapes and we are going to draw that shape on a piece of paper. And then we're going to make a shape picture from that shape. So for example, you're gonna pick one of these shapes and you're gonna think to yourself, hmm, what else could this shape be? Like this, this shape right here, yes, it's, it's, it's a square, but it could also be the body of a person. So I could turn this, I could use this square and then add on to it to make a person. Or this right here could be the head of a person, or it could also be a pizza. Hmm, let's see. This right here could be turned into a table or a TV or a microwave, or it could be turned into a school bus or a truck. This shape over here reminds me of a kite. I could turn that into a kite, for example. Let's see. So I'm going to choose one of these shapes, and then I'm going to use that shape to turn it into something else. OK? Let's see. Hmm. I think I'm going to make a flower. And I'm going to use this circle as the inside of my flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at how to draw the circle. That's going to be the first thing I do. Turn my paper like this. So I'm going to draw the circle. And your teacher might have sent you these shapes that you can cut out. And um, that you can cut out and glue, but I'm just gonna draw it. So here's my circle. And now I'm gonna color in my circle. Okay. 
It could also be a sun. It could be so many things. It could be a nose, it could be a head, it could be wheels. I'm gonna add some petals. Let me make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna add a stem. And then I'm gonna color in my petals and my stem. And I would keep on coloring. So friends, a circle, when you add petals and a stem, is turned into a flower. Let me show you one more example really quickly, just so you get an idea. Say I wanted to start with this shape, right? This is a square. Now a square, when you add legs and feet and arms, and a neck and a head, and some eyes, some nose and a mouth, and some hair, becomes a person. See how I started with a shape and then I turned that shape into something else. I used that shape to make a picture of something else. A shape, when you add all the other body parts, becomes a person, becomes the body of a person. A circle, when you add petals and a stem and some leaves, becomes a flower. So friends, mathematicians, take a look at these shapes. Choose one shape and use it to help make a shape picture. We can't wait to see what you create.